Hey there, it's Claudia. Welcome to or back to For the Love of Four. So I'm gonna jump straight in. I have an all day crop coming up soon and I have been working about two or three weeks packing up different page kits and really prepping myself to get the most done possible during my time. The rest of February and almost all of April is going to be a super busy month for me and I kind, kind of want to go ahead and hit my first quarter goal, goals for who gas, who gives a scrap um, in this crop. So let me dive in. This is my tool caddy. I haven't really carried this around for a while because I've been using just my ice containers inside of my um, crop bag, but I decided I, could, I should bring this since I'll be having um, sharing a six foot table. So I have my little bin for trash connected to my bag and I can take that off when I get there. I have three Ikea containers to hold some die cuts. I have this little baggie that has different mixed media in there, tissue paper, tool, um, cards, ephemera, things like that. Then I have my 3D foam in two different sizes for lifting photos and papers up. I have my notebook that has my notes in there for both my um, projects and different page kits. I have my inks, some new. I have my loose um, homemade Nouveau Drop enamel dots and some wood veneer. I have my adhesive wet and dry. I have my photos right here. The ones for Disney. Uh, I noticed that they were starting to get bent when I was putting them how I stored them. So I decided to keep them this way. I have my corner rounders in small and large from Hobby Lobby stuck in one pocket. My cell phone prop for when I want to look at sketch designs to, to scrap lift. My drink holder. I have my spatula for my gesso and other type of paint. I have my sponge, paintbrush, a pencil, two pens, a water brush, and a mister. I have the gelettos for my Disney projects. So I have two different blues, black, yellow, and red, and a white. I have my staple refills, and then enough of these ink daubers to be able to use with the different color inks that I brought. While I won't be using this pen, I wanted to bring it with me. I just got it at Planners Rock in a Disney pack and thought it would be fun to utilize this as like some motivation, some cuteness. I have my stapler. I have three different size um, scissors and a varnishing tool to make creases. I have two different color Winka Stellas, that's even how you say it, some spray glitter, Disney colors, Nouveau Drops. I am going with the traditional colors of black, yellow, red, and I'm throwing in this tealish blue. Since Simple Stories and Echo Park are the main kits I'm using, they have uh, put that in with the color scheme. I have the regular sprays that I use from Heidi Swap and another company. I have some hand cream. I have some a lemon, lemony flush from Lush for my cuticles. My hands get dry when I craft. And I have some breath mints right here. So I'll be snacking all day and my breath will get hot. So no one needs to smell my stinky breath. So that's all I have in this bag except for I have a tray in the underneath pocket to be able to put all of my... Um, mixed media colors like sprays and paints on. The next thing I have are these crate paper rolls. Um, it's like the party streamers and I need to go pick up a red and a yellow one and so I am taking them in their entirety throwing them into the bag so they don't unravel. In my iris containers I am packing a little bit different than my first video that I shared a couple months ago, I'll link them either in a cart up or down below. This is my main project. I have about 65 to 68 layouts I need to make for our Disney trip. And these are all of the different embellishments and ephemera and such. So I just took them out of their tray and baggied them up and then have all the stickers in there. Usually I also have my papers and stuff, but I did something different. So that will slide into my cropping bag. I have July 2017 in here. I did stop scrapping 
for a while, so now I'm kind of playing catch up. I have 27 layouts from the month of July that are already pre-made in page kits, except for I found five pictures that I printed off my Instagram that I wanted to include. So those just have the picture and cardstock. Those are in here on the bottom of the tray. So I have them in two gallon bags on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but they're just down there. And my plan is to reuse the scraps for those layouts. And I'll show you how I have those packed up. So these are just all the embellishments from kits from April all the way through July. And I am planning on killing a kit for all of those months. Whatever's left over will either be donated or put into my stash. Like the die cuts will be separated into their appropriate color bins. As I believe I mentioned in the beginning, I will be working on my one little word. So I have that in an iris container. This It stays in this container year round. And... I just found that when I was doing this last year, it really worked for me. So I have everything that I am utilizing for this project in this. I need to make my February prompt prints. And I believe I shared this on my Instagram, but I will give you a little peek on how I decided to create for my word quality. And it's cultivate quality intentionally. And I just am following the prompts not caring if it comes off messy because it is just for me to reflect with and i am using an eight and a half by 11 school binder all right so the last thing that's going to be going into my crop bag oops sorry for kicking the stand is this now i'm going to try to get a bird's eye view kind of on how i have it set up so i have all of my kits in these two gallon bags. I do own like 200 of them. Whenever I start to run out, I just go to the Dollar Tree and buy a few packages. And so let me go ahead. And now I'm gonna set the tripod down so you won't be able to see the whole bin at once. However, I did wanna show you at a tilted view what's inside of this container store bin. So I just have all of my different kits separated. I have, so in this album, I will be having some eight and a half by 11, like baseball card protectors, as well as um, some 12 by 12 protectors in different formations. So what I did was I set up page kits to have what I would need inside of it. So I don't wanna get them out of order. I have a picture inside with a title on some wax paper and the embellishments I plan to use with the papers and card stocks that I need. Like I shared before, not all of them have uh, pictures in it because this just got really stuffed, but they all have papers and a card with the title that I plan on putting on them. And they are all numbered, so I know what pictures they go with because I have it written in that spiral notebook. I have the extra page protectors and papers and card stocks left over that I might want to change with some extra bags for the pictures that I did not place pictures for. So there's 10 more, so it could potentially be um, 68 layout, layouts, like I said. So here's my book that I'm using. And for that July kit, here are the 27 layouts. And these are all ready to go, except for the five that I had mentioned. And it has the paper, cardstock, title on wax paper, picture, and embellishments ready to go, plus whatever journaling I may need. I have extra cardstock in case I decide to change out colors. A few other embellishments from the um, May and June kits. And then... This bin right here is a five by seven from Michael's. And what I'll be doing is I will leave it open on my table. And when I get done with the kit, whatever embellishments are left over will be thrown into here to use on a future page kit or the page kits that I didn't make kits for. So that's everything that's coming in my crop bag. I've also decided to bring two more items that will stay in my car while I'm there. The crop is about 20 minutes from my house, so I'll be able to utilize 
my car. And I mean three containers, I'm sorry. So what I have are my two die cut containers. They are four by six containers separated by color. So on one side I have my ephemera and on the other side I have um, embellishments. So I will give you an example. These are my red die cuts in ephemera. And this is my red container that has different like enamel embellishments, wood veneer, whatever may match that is not paper per se, if that made sense. And so I will show you the, oh, the inside of the container. So I have them all washi tape by color. And because I know I'm gonna be needing numerous colors for the three different projects I'm working on, I just felt it easier to bring this, run to my car when I need a different color and not have to worry about taking them out of the main container. I can even bring them in to the convention center if I so chose to. I am bringing three different paper cutters. I'm bringing my Recollections 12 by 12 trimmer and then two small, smaller photo cutters so I don't go through that blade. The last thing I'm bringing in that I didn't feel like going through, sorry, my, my little trash can dropped, what is one of my thicker containers. I do have two of these, but these are the colors that I will be needing, going from white, black, gray, gold, red, pink, blue, teal, I think I said gold, silver, and some yellows. So that's what I'm bringing that will work for the three projects that I'm working on. Uh, one of my projects already has the thickers specifically for that in its iris container, so I'm not too worried. And then I have other colors in the July container ready to go. So this will be in my car. This is primarily for my Disney book. That's why there are so many whites, so many blacks, and then very various other colors because I will be using white and black the majority of the time in that project. So that's what I'm bringing. I hope this was helpful and link below if you've ever packed up for a crop. I would love to see how you utilize your space, your bags, and your tools. Have a blessed day. Create something. Be kind.